uh, so quickly. So, Mr. President, thank you on behalf of the people of Pennsylvania and well beyond for the immediate response. I want to commend and salute as well the governor and his team, Governor Shapiro and his office, uh, Secretary Carroll, and all of the men and women who make it possible for us to stand here today and be prepared to rebuild this section of I-95. And that goes as well, of course, obviously, to Mayor Kenny and his team. And when you think about it, as the President made reference to, and the Governor, all of those men and women who responded initially, those brave men and women, whether they are firefighters or emergency responders, uh, employees of PennDOT, city workers, so many came to the, the aid of, of a community. And now you have a whole group of other great Pennsylvanians, union members and others, who are making it possible for us uh, to rebuild uh, I-95 in this section. So we're honored by that work. We still have more work to do. But I'm grateful to hear what the governor just told us. And I'm also grateful that we have a delegation in this region. Whatever we need to do, Senator Fetterman and I, Representative Boyle, Representative Evans we saw earlier today, and so many others, uh, supporting this effort to make sure that we get this done. But we're grateful for the leadership already and grateful for those who have done the hard work uh, to respond and to begin the rebuilding process. So I'm grateful to be joined by a partner, Senator Fetterman, who's next up at the podium. President, a little over a year ago, a little over a year ago, the President and I were standing right next to each other at a collapsed bridge in western Pennsylvania, a bridge that I drove over just the night before with my young son. And he showed up with just hours, hours after that, br that bridge collapsed there. And he promised to make sure that any resources that they needed and any help and support, and guess what, and guess what? That, that, that bridge was rebuilt less than a year, well, well in front of time, and again. And now, I'm standing next to the President again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here, and he is here to commit to work with the, the Governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick fast as well too. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure. Yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, one, uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the infraction uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this, all across the America getting rebuilt. It's a pleasure to be here and to introduce my, my friend, Congressman Moyle Bile. Thank you. Uh, I'm uh, Congressman Brendan Boyle, but the main reason why I'm here, forget that I'm Congressman. More importantly, I am a Northeast Philadelphia resident and a daily commuter on that section of I-95. So you better believe how much I care about this infrastructure project and getting this reopened as quickly as possible. Mr. President, I just want to say thank you. That very early Sunday morning, my first phone call was to the White House. Mr. President, when we spoke on the phone earlier this week, and you pledged to me that this was your single most important infrastructure project right now, getting this rebuilt, that means the world to me and the millions of us who live in Philadelphia or the surrounding area. In my lifetime, I have never seen a president more engaged we're in this city and area more often than President Joe Biden, so thank you. And Josh, I just want to say, uh, my second call, right after talking uh, to the White House, my second call was to you. Uh, the work that you have done, your team, Mike Carroll, my former colleague, so many others, has really been remarkable. This is, as Josh mentioned, a great example of all hands on deck, federal, state, and local officials working together. Mayor Jim Kenney, uh, you've probably been to the site more than, than almost anyone, and I want to thank you and everyone involved with the city for your effort as well. You know, this is 
even bigger, though, than just repairing a critical part of I-95. As I pointed out earlier this week, if you draw a 50 or 75 mile radius circle anywhere on I-95 from Maine to Miami, this is the most densely populated part of I-95. That's how critical this road is. But as critical as it may be, 